good morning students today we are entering into another step to the rise of hitler now we are going to see little bit background from where he has come where was he born and like that we are going to see about the hitler see he was born not in germany but in austria you know austria is a small country at present in europe is a neighboring country to germany in the first world war austria and germany fought together so the treaty was imposed on austria was the capital of austria is vienna see here you can see this is austria this is germany this is france this is spain united kingdom denmark bulgaria poland this is russia this is a road to india or asia pirane ra this is turkey so this is greece this is italy this is african continent okay so this means he was born in this country in the austria so because austria was fighting along with germany he migrated to germany he settled down in germany in the year 1889 he was born 1889 belong to a ordinary family not so much rich not so much poor ordinary family in the world became a soldier in the first world war so he had a normal education and uh, naturally when uh, war started in 1914 he got a chance to become a soldier because employment chances were very less and because of the war and austria was fighting in against the allied forces he became part of the central team or central powers that is germany austria and turkey so he fought along with them and it is said he was uh, doing in the messengers duty information service to pass to the soldiers in the front line so that was his duty so it is a risk any time you are moving you are not a station you know you are not moving along with all other soldiers you may have to go around so that was his duty so during the first world war so naturally world war came to an end you know it and there was a treaty of uh, versailles and that treaty of versailles was so humiliating for austria and germany so humiliated so they were so much unhappy and angry so was angry on the treaty of versailles then he is an ordinary member so he could do nothing so he became as a worker later left the defense or army and he joined as a worker in a factory and those workers joined to run formed a political party and organized it is known as a german workers party he became a member of german workers party at that time ussr was formed so the workers were became very powerful at that time proletariat working class people they became they became very popular and strong so he became a member of the working group workers party and that workers party later on it was renamed as a socialist german workers party first was it was just german workers party 
Then it was renamed Socialist German Workers and National Socialist. This means the people who supported German idea or German people. And they want to share. So socialist means sharing the wealth. Equality as such. But really it has not come. But in the name at least it is there. So National Socialist German Workers Party. Later on, it was called in short, it was called the Nazi party. So he was a member of that party, later became the leader of that party. And this party which was there becomes the party that ruled or controlled Germany from 1933 to 1945. Now you see, now what did Hitler do? He has become the leader of the party. Naturally, a person when he becomes the leader of the party, he has to to show something different. So he first he planned a march with the members of the party moved towards Berlin. Berlin is the capital of Germany and captured the power. Elected government was there. So he wanted to do a coup, remove the existing government and capture the power. But he did not get as much as support he expected at that time. So he could not become get the power. The Weimar Republic members of the government, existing government arrested him and tried him for treason. You know what is treason? If a person walks against his own country, it is a treason. If I work against India, I am doing treason. If I criticize the government, it is not treason. In a democratic system, every citizen has got the right to criticize the government. Criticizing the government is not treason. Working against his own country is treason. So they are also in the rules. They are studying. But later on, they let him free. No, the punishment for treason is death. We have seen, and we have seen the French Revolution. Louis XVI was executed, guillotined, telling that Louis XVI worked against France. In Contacting other countries during the revolution time. So that is treason. So they, they would have tried, but they told he has only spoken against the existing government. So he was not given a capital punishment or anything. After some years, they left him free. They left him free from all the charges. Now Hitler is again free. He is again doing the activities which he expected, he was thinking of. So now, during this is a period of depression, you know, 1929 to 1930, economic depression was there, economic crisis was there, people have nothing to eat, people have uh, no employment, people don't know what to do. So in that situation, no means to have livelihood. In that situation, he comes up and tells, you give me power, I will provide you. So he took the sentiments of the people, see you people are suffering because of England and France, that is because this present the government, you give me power, I will do all those things, I will remove all those things and provide everything, whatever you want. So people began to fear, they began to dream, okay, if that comes, it's good. So he made promises to the people, to support these promises which he has spoken, he has given to the people, made the people of Germany that these things would happen and they could become the rulers of the world. So they began to support him. One by slowly, slowly began to support. His speeches were passionate. He promised the people a strong nation. Passionate. 
making the feeling from the inside the heart it comes and making the people to feel that they are it is for them he is thinking that's what he did and he told we will make the germany a strong and powerful nation in the world nobody can defeat all of the countries of the world will shiver so such a kind of speeches were given by hitler and he told he will undo injustice done to germany because the treaty of versailles after the first world war was injustice he told so we will undo injustice we will stop all the payments to all other countries and germany will be free so all those things he told and he told the protection in india governments now germans have to keep their head down in front of french and the british forces because they have been beaten and humiliated now he tells we will keep our dignity give me power i will teach them i will chase them out of uh, germany so give me power elect me that's what he has told and he wants a employment for the people in economic depression there was no employment no means of livelihood so he promised to give me power i will provide employment this is what he was doing. so people began to think made people if he is given power all german problems will be solved as a magician he will solve all problems there for everywhere anywhere there is a problem so people hearing those speeches those words they thought that he is going to solve all their problems so they began to support him so that is what this happened so the symbol the swastika was a symbol of the party and red and white you know red is something that makes the people aggressive angry in cinema you know when will the hero will be more angry when he things about the some killings some bloodshed so he becomes more angry and becomes active that's in cinema they keep the same way red is something that inspires to be makes the people more angry aggressiveness so red was the fly and he was protected as a messiah messiah means a savior in the bible jesus christ is said to be the messiah because Adam and Eve have done mistake. God has punished them, chased them out of the Eden Gardens or Paradise Eden Gardens, not Calcutta Eden Gardens, heavenly Eden Gardens. So they were asked to go to the earth, work hard and earn their revenue. So then they asked pardon for their mistake. God has promised them they will send him a Messiah, a savior, to solve all their problems. So the German people thought that Hitler is the Messiah for them, because they are facing a lot of problems. They have been skewed and controlled by England and France. Now they want to chase them out and become independent and become rulers of the world. So he is the person for that Messiah. Hitler is the Messiah for them. They thought that was his words for them, inspiring speeches, passionate speeches. Very good man. It was a time of political and economic turmoil everywhere. Political means governmental system. We have seen yesterday, government could not remain for a long time. So changing parties and all those things were happening in Germany. So people were fed up with them. So they wanted a stable and strong government. That's what happened. and in germany and all, all over the world so situation and in 1928 this german and nazi party was having only 2 and 1/2 percentage of the seats for them in the parliament but when it came to 1934 they were able to get a 37 percentage of the seats you know in germany they are following proportional representation method 
Proportional representation method means the people are voting for a political party, not for candidate, individual, political party. So in the, if how many percentage of the votes a political party get, those many percentage of the members they can send it to the race tag, the parliament. If you take in India, if uh, people are voting for a BJP or a Congress or a uh, JDS or a uh, Trinamool Congress or uh, Telinga uh, TDS, like that any local political party, Shiva Sena. So these parties people are voting. So how many percent of votes each party has for? Now the person living in BJP has got the highest number of votes. So naturally, more members they can send it to the parliament. So it is not the candidate who gets a vote, it's a political party. That's the system in Germany. So proportional representation in this case. So 37% of the votes they have got, that's a single largest party. So Hitler gets a chance to form the government, that is the so that is the situation. So the people get. So this is a salute of Nazi salute. It's told like this saluting. We know in uh, Indian Defense Service, we know saluting is like this and come up and they salute. So, but in English, uh, Germany, this was a salute. You understand? To see how the people are saluting in the new house. That's a Nazi salute. Everybody has to salute him. So, not any other way, this one. Sir, hey, Hitler, they have to say. That is what he has You can see other things. This is their meetings. Hitler's meetings. You see how well organized it is. Systematically, very properly organized. So much discipline. It is being told that during the reign of Hitler, even dogs could wait for traffic signal in Germany. You know, in India, when a human beings don't wait, and what about dogs? Dogs are animals which you observe keenly the human behavior. How we do, it is also. So if the human beings are stopping somewhere in front looking at something, the dog also understands that something is there and dog checks what is happening. But that is the system. So, so much discipline, well organized plan was there in Germany during the reign of Hitler. You see how beautifully organized it is. This is what the Hitler has created in the mind of Well, nice dog And those who don't obey, they will be forced to. That comes to the discussion. So, that is our thing. Completely. See the children, they are also, they are also supporting it. Hey, salute of the people. Hey, Peter, they say. See, children, everywhere. So that is the Peter's. See, there's an assembly tree. Marching is going. Here, here, see how he salutes. He salutes like this. This is German, Peter's Nazi salute. Now they don't do that, it's a tag. Okay, that's the message. People are not. How well organized it is. So this is a what is it? Thank you. We'll see tomorrow how the power comes into the hand of Hitler and how he rules Germany till his death. That is end of the second world war.